French Montana actually speaking on the rap game, saying that, you know, it's watered down, you know, people not making the same type of music nowadays, you know, they're brainwashed. So I feel like, you know, I can agree with them on that because people not making music just to make it no more. They want to make it and think they supposed to blow up instantly. That's not how it fucking works. You have to put the work in. You have to do your music videos. You have to go to the studio. You got to rap. You got to make songs. You can't just sit up there, drop one fucking video per year. Oh, I'm going to blow up. You not going no fucking where. Go sit your ass down. Because there's a hundred other artists out here working a thousand times harder than you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, let's go ahead and get straight into this video, man. They really fucked us up and brainwashed us because, like, you know, like, every, every, like, every year, everybody start popping out with these Spotify numbers. Right. Everybody be like, look how much I did a year. You know what I'm saying? Those Spotify numbers when everybody put them shits up, it's almost like it's almost like you hustling on the block. And you take the nigga that gave you the G pack or gave you whatever work, right? Mm -hmm. Then you throwing it up on your page like it's yours, right? Not knowing that like five percent of that is yours. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so they got all of us chasing that and not even knowing that we just showing stacks that don't even belong to us, that belong to the label. And we all brainwashed is gonna have the biggest numbers. It's taking the love out of music. People are not making the music that they love no more. People are chasing those numbers. And how you chase those numbers? You go to rap life. You go to rap caviar. You go to whatever it is. This is what the best songs sound like. I got to make a song just sound just like that. That's why every time a number one hit, everybody try to make the beats just like it. This Nobody's Damn. going to their own roots. Niggas ain't standing on nothing. Niggas ain't saying that. Niggas ain't standing on no style. Niggas ain't stand. Niggas don't want to wake up and look like them. Let's just start there. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Like there's there there's nobody that's really just just pushing the envelope. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's brainwashed. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like So man, you know, like Prince Montana said, man, a lot of you niggas there is brainwashed in the goddamn rap industry, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't put the work in. You know what I'm saying? The people that actually put the work in, they been doing this shit for years. And when you actually do see these artists, bro, blow up, you be seeing their videos from three or four years ago where they was broke as fuck, working hard, trying to actually come up with this shit. These niggas be wanting fucking handouts, wanting you to do something for them, want you to give it to them. They don't want to fucking work for it. They don't want to put the work in for this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So I do get what French Montana saying, man. On both sides, entertainment business, music business, production, every damn thing, bro. You got to put the motherfucking work in. And if you're not willing to do that, this ain't the game you want to be in. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, shout out my per, shout out my, shout out T Ma 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 Manafi. I can't pronounce your name right, but shout out T. Shout out T on YouTube. I fuck with you for that. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.